Okay guys, day two to have another crack at this little paddock here. Um, I got it as far as those little flowers over there and found a couple of half pennies. It's all hard, hard compact uh, granite, sort of halfway out the back of the yard. So I'm thinking the house was up the front there because the driveway is just here. So anyway, I'll get back to you on my first decent find and we'll carry on. See you soon. Okay guys, I've got a 80, 89, 91, 88, about six inches down. I've already dug a hole, but it's a little bit deeper. So anyway, we'll have another look. I'm using the um, M8 coil today, because it was fairly junky yesterday. So I thought I'd try and get in amongst all the, all the junk. And there it is there. What have we got there? Uh, um, part of a doorknob, maybe. Yeah, part of a doorknob. Has missing the dome bit on top. There's the square hole through there. I think it is. Oh, I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Looks like a door, part of a door handle. Or uh, the thing off a shower uh, rail, tail, tail rail, maybe. Hmm. All right. We'll move on to the next and see how this little M8 goes today. Okay. Got a nice little high tone here. 93. 92 93, 92 it doesn't change other than those two numbers about 4 inches or so down 92, 93 ok ok let's have a look oh god this hard granite stuff I tell you I should have brought a Matic oh She's rock solid there. <coughs> there you go, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Battery went flat in the uh, GoPro. Just as I was getting this out. Looks like it was just the uh, scrap bit of aluminium or something like that. There's a fair bit of it down there, so I'm not going to go tearing it all up. But anyway, that's what that is. All right, I'll move along to the next. See you soon. Well, there you go. Up there, roughly about there, is where I found the little cap gun. Uh, the bar uh, the uh, chamber and parts of the barrel, but no handle. So I'm down this end, where the trees are, down this end, and I just got this signal, and I believe that might be the handle for the little cap gun. <laughs> hmm. It looked like it was a red handle. So that was part of the little cap gun, I'd say that was up, up there. Beautiful. All right. We'll keep on going, see what else I can find. All right, guys. I've just about gone all over it. I'll come up to this top end here. On the fence line just here. And I've got this thumping signal. 77, 78, 81. Now, I've got two of these already in, in the time I've been detecting. Well... It's another little lead tank. <laughs> I won't be able to get my brush out, I don't think. But, that's a lead tank. <sighs> yep. Cool. That's three of them now. There. There you go. That's not bad. 
bit squashed, very squashed. <laughs> All right. I'll see you soon on to the next. I'll see how I go. Well, guys, I just got this little doodah. Not quite sure, but it's on a hinge. Like that there. Like a little locket of some sort. Uh, it could be a lid off something. I'm not, I'm not sure. But... Is that a lid off something, I wonder? Hmm. It's made out of brass. I think. But yeah. That's like that. Little hinge lid. There's no thread. So there's no thread. But it's made out of brass. Yeah, I'll clean that up and we'll have a look at that when I get home. Gave a good signal. Nothing written on it that I can see. But yeah, cool. I thought it might have been like a little um, watch or something like that. But anyway, we'll keep on going. Alright, that's where I found that little hinge lid thing to see. Now I walked across to here and got this little signal just here. This one here. What's it come up as? Um, 46, 47, 48. And we've got ourselves a little round padlock. All the uh, top bit there's all rusted and there's your keyhole just there you pretty sure that's the keyhole just there little padlock I'll have to um, try and clean that up and get that out of there without busting it too much yeah that's the loop of the padlock and little key keyhole there you little ripper Alright, we'll keep on going before I uh, break that too much. Stick that in there. Right, I'll double check the hole and we'll move along. Tells me there's something else in there. Alright, I'll have another dig and I'll come back to you. <clears throat> okay, guys, out of that same hole that I've got the padlock in. Out came another broken up cap gun. There's the barrel, half of the chamber of the cap gun. That's all that was in there, but it was all broken up. So I keep chasing little tiny signals, but I can't find anything else. But um, yeah, okay, I'll keep on going. Right, hey guys. Okay, now this is day two. Um, that's all my junk that I found, and then I come across this little thing. Now, I didn't know what it was. I thought it might have been like a locket, but I've done some Google. There's either could be either one of two things. It could be off an old vintage compass where the compass dial was inside there and you opened the lid on it. I'll put a picture up off Google that I found that could be one of them. And also, it could also be, you know your water meter? How it's got the dial on the top and tells you how much water you've used? It might be the top off the, one of those as well. So it could be either one of two things. But it's pretty cool. Nothing written on it though. Um, scored myself another little lead tank. He's a bit squashed. He's hit something hard, or something's hit him very hard and squashed him there. So that's three of these I've got now, little lead tanks. Um, that's what's left of a cap gun. That's the uh, chamber of a big cap gun. 
that's the barrel part of it that's all I can get out of the hole and as I said now that's the one I found on day one then up the other end of the yard so down the bottom end of the yard I found this that's the handle now I'm not sure if that could possibly be the handle for that little cap gun or not it might be a different one I don't know but it's almost there <laughs> and um, not so many coins or pre-decimal coins or anything but yeah one cent piece and I've scored myself another little padlock this one here I'm not game enough to clean that out of there in case it snaps the um, the loop out of the top but you can see the little tiny keyhole just there in the center and it's like one of those pancake padlocks that I got before it's very similar there but you know didn't find a great deal there but it was a good couple of days so always remember it's always fun to go detecting always remember to fill in your holes stay safe and thanks for watching see you next time